Thank you for joining us again here on Pray TV as we continue to look into the scripture to find the fortification, the motivation, the instruction, the inspiration that it takes to really actively continue to press into God in prayer. So we're going to look at a scripture that is taken from Exodus 15, 26. And the latter portion of this is something that Lori had sent to us, for I am the Lord who heals you. We're going to think about that. And again, just to give it context, we're reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. And it says, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commands, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. This is God's plan for us to be able to walk in. God really does desire for us to be able to be whole. There are so many scriptures that talk about it. And please don't take me out of context to think that somehow if somebody is suffering from some illness that there's something wrong with them. It's not that way at all. We know that we suffer in many different ways at many different times. And it's just a part of our Christian walk to be able to slog on through some of those things and keep faith in the Lord who has promised that he says, I am the Lord that heals you. So we need to have that confidence even in the midst of times when there is testing and when there is struggle. But God really is able to really deliver us and he's able to heal us and he's able to transform us. I mean, my wife and I are living testimonies, literally, to the healing power of God, to the transforming power of God, to God's ability to take lives that have been struggling or broken or in anything but a healed sense and see how God has been able to craft his good work in our lives. So without any braggadociousness, because really, it's an ongoing, lifelong journey to become like him and to obey him and to really walk out the principles and the precepts of Christ. But we can do it. We are not called to this walk or called to this life to just leave us kind of uh, in limbo, hanging out there, just kind of drifting along. God wants us to walk with a sense of certitude a sense of confidence with our feet firmly planted, knowing what he has required of us and then doing it. I love one of the portions that I had read, I'm sure it must be 35, 40 years ago, about F.F. Bruce. And you can read about him in some of your theological uh, documentation and, and as a man who earnestly sought the Lord. And a story that I heard by reading was about how that this man, F.F. F. Bruce, was up one night walking about and he was preaching and he was staying over at this pastor's house and, and the pastor asked him in the morning, he says, I heard you up and walking around and what were you doing? And he said, well, he was searching the scriptures. He was searching the scriptures to see if there was some area or some heart that he wasn't really walking in obedience to so he could get really centered and right with the Lord. Reading this one more time, again it's Exodus 15, 26. If you diligently heed my voice, the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you, which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are in this process of healing us. We thank you, Lord, that you are healing us, whether it's clear and evident, or whether our bodies are 
struggling for life and living. Lord, you're in the process of healing us because you're taking us and conforming us. And you're making us more and more into your image, more and more into the likeness of Christ, more and more into that whole being that you have purposed and intended for us to be. And so, Lord, we praise you this day. You are the God who heals us. And Lord, I'm going to come into agreement right now with some who are watching, who may be struggling physically or in some other area of impairment or some other area where you do not feel well, you do not feel whole. I agree with the Word of God concerning your life that God is your healer. He is your therapist. He is the great physician. He is the author and the finisher of your faith and your life. You can walk in that assurance. Know the Lord. Know his ways and obey him and follow him fully. See if there's any wicked way. Check it out. Look carefully. Look carefully. See if there's something that might be hindering. You're becoming like him. You're allowing that holy nature of God to just move through you. And if there is, just simply repent. Be changed. Be transformed. Become more like him. For I am the Lord who heals you.